clip here. I've got a clip from the Joe Rogan show. I don't think if I mean, they're going to take me down if I play. I'll just play it and take off the video here and there. But this is a clip taken from the Joe Rogan show where he's got Hotep on, and they were talking about UBI. And it's quite disappointing to hear um, Joe have these thoughts on UBI, considering where he started from. And it's quite disappointing to also hear him kind of not really understand what UBI is about. And he's rushing out for not wanting UBI now. is really weird as well, in my opinion. But hey, let's continue. What's the uh, monthly payment stuff that they're going to come out with? Um, oh, universal, basic, universal income. basic income. I just think that was a good idea before the pandemic. During the pandemic, when everybody's getting the, you know, the money from the government, people didn't want to work. And it was like, and I was like, oh, this is not good. Yeah. This is not smart. Well, that's what they wanted. They wanted the universal basic. That's what they want is universal basic income. And then um, you got to give people some incentive to do things. Doing it here. Thousand dollars per month. Universal basic income pilot program on Austin City Council agenda. Yeah. Those dudes are just going to do a lot of coke. It's a small amount of people. 85 families. Yeah. I'm not accusing those 85 families of being cokeheads. <laughs> but I think um, I think for for families that are struggling, that's one thing. But for gotta, uh, for everybody, like they were going to give it to every person. Yeah. It's going to be like a free thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think it has to come with, like, like if I were to do a, a program, it would be more like a job program. Like, I'll pay you while you get these marketable skills, while you train in these marketable skills. But I'm not going to pay you to just, like... Do nothing. Do nothing. Yeah. yeah. There's um a certain amount of entitlement that people have today that they just did not have before, where they feel like the, the government owes them something, regardless of how little or how much they've put into the system. They feel yeah. like the government owes them something. So when you say to those people, hey, what do you think about universal ba basic income? Everybody gets $1,200 a month. They're like, yeah, we need, yeah, we deserve it. We should, you should fucking give us the money, man. You know, and they start thinking goofy. And then you get um, inflation. Right. <laughs> anyway, um, I thought that was a really weird place to come at UBI because from what I understand about UBI, it was never a thing of like you can survive on ubi and that's all you can just live your life where you just get sent money by the government every month and that's all you don't need to do any kind of work the idea i thought about ubi was to allow people to actually pursue things that they were legitimately interested in and that would obviously help them to be more useful in society instead of working dead-end jobs that don't really serve any purpose that you could easily automate to be you know more efficient and to basically allow people to not be in dead-end jobs to become depressed and whatnot and if I'm not, if I remember correctly, when I first stumbled across UBI, it was maybe through the Tim Ferriss book, Four Hour Workweek, because he kind of spoke about UBI in a roundabout way when he was talking about the muse, right? The whole Four Hour Workweek methodology is like, oh, I'm going to teach you how to make a business that generates passive income, so that you only have to work four hours a week on that job, but then that means the rest of the time you have free, you can pursue the stuff that you want to do, learning martial arts, learning how to do stand up comedy you know, starting a band, you know, building furniture like the Rogan always says, or making handmade knives, whatever it may be. But if you have this muse that generates a certain amount of income, it takes the pressure off the things that you do outside of it. So you can maybe explore funner things and that'll make you a better person, a better friend, a better husband, a better partner, a better colleague, whatever it may be. That was the whole idea behind it. And I guess UBI was the same idea. You'd get these people who maybe would work at terrible dead end jobs. Like I've worked in call centers and retail and, you know, hospitality and bar work and shit. And you say, Hey, here's some money so that if you do actually do want to do bar work, you're doing it because you actually love it. It's a vocation. You like to serve people drinks. You like to be of service. You like to work in that industry. And you're actually going to be really good at the job and you're going to take it seriously because you've got a thousand or twelve hundred dollars coming into your account all the time. So anything you make on top of that is going to be helping your bottom line. But it's not something you're going to depend on. You're not going to be there starving for tips and making sure that you're working, you know, your butt off just to get flipping eight hundred dollars a week, a month or whatever. That's the whole idea behind it it wasn't just to sit at home and get some money but then i also think it's strange because didn't flipping on it get pp ppp loans or whatever maybe during the pandemic right to support wage whatever right during did that i'm pretty sure they did they wanted companies that were seen to get loans so it's okay for him to get free money for his companies but if people in society think oh i don't want to work in mcdonald's for five dollars an hour i'd rather you know 
have some UBI and then supplement it by working my local cafe shop, coffee shop, sorry, suddenly that's a big issue. But if conglomerates and companies and corporations need to take money out or take loans or whatever it may be or assistance from the government in order to you know, pay people that are salaried or whatnot, that's okay. So, so strange. Really, really bizarre. And he's going on as if like the pandemic caused people to be lazy. No, it didn't. The pandemic ex highlighted, myself included, and it showed people what the priorities were in life. Um, UBI, Jay Santos says, universal basic income. Um, the idea is that you give your citizens a stipend, a particular amount of money each month. And the idea is that it would allow them to do other things outside of working dead end jobs that maybe would make them far more, help make them feel far more fulfilled in life in general. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a very weird position to come from considering, you know, what's happened. And again, I was saying the pandemic, the pandemic, I think highlighted the need, um, for UBI because it showed to us what the most important things were because I before the pandemic I was definitely working to live I'll be at work from nine to six I'd be doing some things outside of work by the time I come back home I'd have only three or four hours to do the things I want to do then I'd wake up and I'd be straight back into work again it's like a hamster wheel especially if you've got a long commute but suddenly being in a pandemic and being locked indoors and being unable to see your family and friends, being able to being unable to get a coffee, being unable to go for a pint with some friends, to watch some to watch a movie, to go to a restaurant, suddenly you started to appreciate the actual the, the the kind of the the basics of life, seeing your family and friends, hugging them, suddenly it became, oh shit, now I know what's important. So the job that you were doing that was making you stay and work for 60 hours a week wasn't as important as maybe seeing your family and friends. So guess what? You might quit, you might move to another industry, you might move away, whatever it may be, and now you're working on a laptop like I do on a computer so that you have more free time outside of it. That's, whole, that's what um, the pandemic exposed. And for some people, my friends included who work in bars and stuff and nightclubs, they quickly realize that, no, I don't want to work in this place for five pounds an hour, six pounds an hour. I'd much rather, you know, pursue something else outside of it or get two part-time jobs because I don't need as much money as I thought I did to survive anymore. I know the bare necessities that I need to get forward in life. That's what it was all about, really. But again, it's just, it's just sad to see him change this way. I guess this is what happens when you get paid you know, north of 200 million by Spotify, you know, the more money you get, the more you're going to be, res yeah, I'd imagine the more money you get in life, especially the older you get, the more you want to keep it. When you're younger, you're probably like, oh, everyone should get a piece of this. I can't believe I'm making this. This is crazy. Amazing. You're, you're probably way more charitable, I'd assume, in that regard. But then the older you get, especially when you've got more life experiences, you start to believe your own hype. You start to have that kind of whole like, oh, if I could do it, you could do it too kind of thing. And then you just want to cons conserve your money. You don't want to give it away because I guess if UBI does come into play, then people that earn a lot of money like Joe Rogan will probably be the people who maybe foot the bill in terms of the taxes to pay for that sort of stuff, innit? So it makes sense why he's kind of against it. But considering where he started from, it's a bit sad, isn't it? Um, what Dave said, Dave said, I'd rather see what Dave said here. Dave said, I'd rather see universal healthcare or universal food stamps than universal basic income. Yeah, true, true, for sure. I'd, some assistance is necessary though. But I think what Joe's saying is that he thinks any assistance makes people lazy which I don't agree with. I don't think that's the reason why people are lazy. There's loads of different reasons why people are lazy. And also, I don't get why, because I, I have the feeling he thinks like, because he works hard, everyone should work hard. And I don't think that's true. Like some people just don't have the capacity to work hard and don't want to. What does that mean? Does that mean because they don't want to work hard that they shouldn't eat? that they shouldn't have the ability to have a roof over their heads, that they shouldn't have the ability to put their kids in a semi-decent school or have good career options just because they don't want to work as hard as you. I don't think that's fair. But I also don't think you should be get, given complete handouts to just live in a lap of luxury and not sweat at all because, of course, that's going to not be good for you in general. But I think he has that feeling that because they don't work as hard as him that they're not working hard at all, which is a very strange place to come at things. But, you know, again, like I said... I think it, it life gets different when you get 200 mil in it or north of 200 mil. I understand why he's like this, but it's just a slight, slight, slight bit disappointing considering where Rogan started from. But I guess things change when you do get loads of money.